Don't you even dare. Oh, I got the glory all right. Get recorded. You're an animal. His name is Agle Zero. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla back again with another Jurassic World Evolution video. Thank you for joining me as always. You've caught me in the middle of a little bit of building. Because in this episode, we are going to be getting some herbivores added to the mix. As you can see, I've cleaned out this original pen. Just built a new pen over here. We're going to be getting some good things going. Hopefully these guys cause us less trouble. In the last episode, we brought in our two Dillos. There's Dennis. Oh, and on cue, there's Nedry. And we obviously have our Velociraptor pack over here. Oh, they're actually all together, so that's a good... Looks like Ozzy's taking the lead here. But we've got Ozzy, Charlotte, Champion, and Blue. And boy, did they cause some headaches in the last episode. If you have been enjoying this, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, sit back, relax. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Now, I don't like the look of that pen. I do not like the look of that pen at all. Here we go. We're going to get... We're gonna do it old school. We're gonna go. We're gonna just delete this whole thing. We're gonna. We're just gonna delete everything. Let's just start from scratch. Let's start from a barren block of land. Now we need dinos for this case, and I think. One of the herbivores we're going to get stuck into in this episode is one that we've just unlocked being able to be on this island. And we're going to get an Anki. So I think we might send it to there. No substation? No problem. Now we need more power it looks like, so that's fine. Let's throw another one of these bad boys down. I'm pretty sure I made enough room back here to have more than one. Come on, mate. You just had it. You just had it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Wait for that to finish building, and we'll throw the output upgrade onto it. Obviously, a couple of episodes, guys, with the Velociraptors. A couple of them named after some subscribers. If you want that to happen with yourself, all you got to do is leave a comment down below. If you've got any tips or hints you want to share with me, if you want any dinosaurs named after yourself... If you've got any comments that'll help me better my game, just let me know in the comment section down below. A lot of you have been reaching out lately, whether it be giving nicknames. There's a couple of subscribers that have given me some hints that have actually helped me improve my gameplay a little bit, which is great. So just continue doing that, guys. I love chatting with you all. Let's go improved output. Alright, that should fix that problem. Now we can get stuck into this. So, I want to get the Ankies into a pen and I've heard that they're actually pretty hard to deal with in the fact that they like to be alone and do things in their own time so I think we're gonna this terrain here the terrain on this island is absolutely terrible Alright. We can get it to that. It's going to cost a lot of money to smooth all this out. 
but it's worth it. And it's a tedious task, I know. Oh man, now that... Now it's throwing everything over here out of whack. You know what? Let's flatten this area down here. Let's go with this over here. That can get raised up over there. Let's just smoothen it out. Smooth. Nice and smooth. Yeah, I like that. Just elevate a little bit of it. So we're just going to elevate this section here. Beautiful. So... We will take this path out, because I think we can make you do with the path that we've got. Let's go... the idea of it dipping off. Is there any way we can raise this section? Can we, like, no? We can't? That sucks. So we're going to have to tiptoe the edge here. It's a bit unfortunate, but we don't want our dinos rolling down the mountain. actually a perfect curve. I like that. And then we can go... Boom. It's a bit ugly, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done. Feed and ease resupply. We can do that. Not a problem. Who are we resupplying? We are resupplying the Dillo. How are we going over here, guys? Understood. En route to feeder. Might as well get all of our guys fed. No problem. Anki's are back. Let's have a look. There we go. Ooh. That's what we want. We want that amber. The exact same spot. Send them back out. Now, obviously, I don't have room to put a Hammond Creation Lab... But we're going to be building something a little bit different off to the side. Enclosures. No. We're going to go path because we are going... We can get rid of that water, that's fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, let's flatten a certain section of this here. Give them like a little hillway. That way as well, we can just quickly demolish that, demolish that, and we can throw in one of those bad boys. Okay, so now we can get our path going back.
a little bit ugly, but we can get away with it. There's no power to it. Okay, we need one that has an incubator, so we're going to throw the one with the incubator over here, I think. Hammond Creation Lab. Yes, we can. I know it's a bit tedious to be watching this kind of stuff, guys, but with a sim-based game, you're going to get stuck with seeing some stuff like this at times. But it's okay, that means you can come on the journey with me. Let's flatten out just a little bit more here. And I think what we can do is we can... Yep. So what we're going to do, now that we've made a little bit more room, and obviously a bigger pen, we'll throw this down. We'll throw this one down probably about here. Nope. Started from the attachment. Thank you. From there. This guy obviously doesn't have any power, so we've got to throw a subby down. And now we can get another fence going here too. So I'm thinking Ankies can go in this one and we'll move something over there. Because I don't know how Ankies are going to do with the space. So we're going to go with a heavy fence here. Just to, just to see how we go. We'll try to move the Anki, and if it doesn't work, we can always move it back. Okay. Spot on. Have we got the expedition back? Yes, we do. And we've got a Cory Thesaurus. Okay. Do we have enough genome to get one going? No, we do not. It's going to be 50%. Alright guys, I'm going to continue putting these pens together, and I'll bring you guys back once we've uh, got a viable genome and we're set to bring some new dinos to life. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got both pens sorted out. Now originally I was going to put the Ankies over here, but I'm thinking we're going to use this one here for the Ankies, and I've got an idea of what I want to do here. Having a look in the creation lab, we have genomes for both the Ankylosaurus and the Corythosaurus. Now, the Corythosaurus and the Edmontosaurus are from the same family. So I'm thinking we're going to throw a couple of Corys and a couple of Edmonds together and get them going in this pen here. And then have maybe two or three Ankies, because I believe Ankies are more, you know, dinosaurs looking for solitude, and get them up in here. And in the, in the process of doing so, we knock off that release Edmontosaurus with immune response modification. 
So, what I might do, just to make sure I've got the success rate going, I'm just going to throw two of them on. That should be enough. We're going to go Edmontosaurus. I don't think we have a color genome. I think the only thing we need to add is that immune response, which we now have version 2, which we're going to do, and lifespan cardio strength gets it up to lifespan of 98. So these are going to last a lot longer. A little bit more expensive than I'd like, but let's kick it off. And then we build up a little bit of money. In the meantime, we'll have a look. So the Cori Thesaurus doesn't have any color genomes yet, which is fine. It has a stock standard rating of 21. If we were to go immune response and then go with immune response again, the biggest we'd be able to get it up to is 26 rating. So it's not going to be one of those big wow over the top have a look at the have a look at me kind of dinosaurs and bring us a big rating but the fact that we're going to have two dinos from the same family interacting together that's what i'm wanting for that little section there the ankies are the main point of this little structure that we're doing here so we've got struthium armor so we can get rid of that bottom line i couldn't have done it any better get rid of the amber thanks get rid of that and get rid of that Okay, just made a little bit of extra money there, so we can now throw in a Corythosaurus as well. But yeah, I'm thinking Corys and Edmunds here. We'll get the Ankies up in here. Maybe a Struthiomimus kind of area here, and then, as I said, as you get down here, this is where all the big boys are going to be. This is where the Triceratops and all that... Hopefully we can eventually get into some Brachiosaurs and some Brontosaurus and stuff like that. And we can start getting some real big herbivores stomping around the place. But let's release this Edmontosaurus. It is a very peculiar looking dinosaur. In the interim as well, I've had to build a lot. Oh, what's going on here? We worked so well together in the past, I thought I'd give you a chance to do it again. Get in on this one. Release and house the following new dinosaurs. An Anki, a Velociraptor, and a Dilophosaurus. I can do that. That's 1.5 mil. I can do that. But as I was saying, we've had to throw some emergency shelters up in here because every camp. time a storm hits, All sorts of ways you can take these Velociraptors lose their kinds. mind but and I'm my about bills for in the park, you know? having I guess people say, hitting yeah, me with lawsuits for I'm being sure attacked really go better. through the roof. Numbers, then. Let's also get an Anki going, but let's look at the genome for the Anki first. You're in? Cool. Cool. Okay. We don't have we'll coloration. New dinos. Incubate them, hatch them, and house them. You know the drill. Hey, everybody, we're putting on a show. It's going to be a spectacle hundreds of millions of years in the making. Instinct. Sorry you may not survive. An intensive repair. It takes it to 380, but the rating is pretty solid, 57. I'm liking the look of this park. The fact that we've got these little nooks and crannies that we can build off into. So it looks like before we wrap up, we're going to have to get some dinos going up in here too. So they wanted us to get a Velociraptor, so we can do that. Actually, how are these guys going for social? Okay, he's just eating. Ozzy's just having a goat there. That's, that's fine. Let's get a Alpine Velociraptor going there. 
I think we'll also get a Dillo, but we'll have to put it to sleep straight away. And fingers crossed, hope for the best. Too expensive for the time being, that's fine. We've got a new dinosaur, however, to unleash over here. We've got the Corythosaurus. Let's have a look. Definitely a lot more parasaur looking. With this animal, the Corythosaurus, you can really see chaos in action. Think of all the combinations it wants and another patterns quarry. that life tries out, looking for that perfect structure. It's not about success. Life is about refining failure over and over and over again. Always a work in progress, ourselves included. Thank you, Dr. Malcolm. As you can see, the social bar for the Corythosaurus is down, so we've got to get another Cory in there. The Edmontosaurus, we'll get a couple more, as I said, as well. The Anki shouldn't be far off. It's taking a little bit. I'm bringing this contract to you while it's still hot. I'll accept that and hope we don't get hit power, with a storm. When you think of power, think of me. Cabot Finch. Reliable, dependable, and not at all full of himself. <laughs> Though he should be. En route to top up feeder. Task received. We go top those up. We gotta to top that one up as well. We can now, we've got a little bit more money. En route to feeder. Thank you. Our Anki's about to pop out. You're a beautiful looking creature. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome you. You see, it's not very sociable at all. And its population's already gone up to halfway. Okay, ACU team. I've got a task for you. You're gonna knock out this Anki. Anki's already been ticked off. We'll get the Velociraptor ticked off. I think so we don't upset the balance over here. I'll get the Dillo done in the herbivore pen. I think. I don't want the Velociraptors going absolutely bananas. They go wild enough every time a storm hits. I don't need the added stress. But the Velociraptor's almost good to pop out here. Charlotte has died of old age. It's okay. Where's our new... Where's our new girl? There's Ozzy. There's Blue. Right there. It's okay, Charlotte. You'll forever be in my park. There will always be a Velociraptor named Charlotte just for you. 
Asset in transit. Okay, the Anki's been knocked out. We can teleport it by the Collecting power asset. of magic. And we've got the Cory Thesaurus here. I just really like the dinosaur models they've made in this game. I think they're great. Yeah, we don't have enough money yet for a Dillo. Where's the Cory? Cory social bar just went up, which is good. Assets in the air. Really need to tick off the Dilophosaurus, so that's the next dinosaur we need to get money up for. Modified genome. Let's just get a standard looking one. Yeah. We've already got two of the unique looking ones up in there. We'll just get a standard looking one. That'll take that population to three. And that'll net us 1.5 mil. And then we can get another Anki going. I want to see what the social bar and population bar looks like on its own. Asset transportation complete. So social, I'm thinking with these guys, maybe two or three at the most. I can definitely get away with another one. I feel I can definitely get away with another one. I wonder though. This might be a very big area. Grassland is maxed. Forest is maxed. And it doesn't need much of either. Just something to play with. Maybe in future I might see if we can half this just to see where we're at. We might be able to do a little dual dual enclosure thing going on there. Feeder needs resupply. That is fine. Team, on our way. Who needs to be fed? The live bait. Acknowledging request for feeder resupply. And let's get the other one fed as well. 49%. We don't have enough for another Anki. We do have for another Corythosaurus, but I think we want to get another Anki going. Our money should go up in a second, and we should be able to get another one going. Yes, okay, boom, there we go. Just out of curiosity, where is he? Okay, he's there. So, I want to just... Okay, I don't have enough money to build... Actually, I do. That was a gate. I need a fence. Just a light fence, just to see... If I was to... Run... An enclosure... That went... Somewhat along the lines of that. Where are you at, Anki? You're there. How are we looking? Okay. That is absolutely great. That's way too much water in it for that. Let's take a little bit out. Definitely feel we can take out these trees as well now. That's actually really handy to know. I'm actually going to leave that fence there. The one thing I do have to throw down, once I have the money, is another bit of food. But now we can afford to throw something else up in this area. Maybe even get the Struthio Mimus running up in there. It saves us having to do a big pen. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I love. Okay, the Dillo's ready, so... What we're doing here... Uh, we're skipping... We're skipping watching the birth. We're skipping watching the birth. We need the ACU. 
Add task. Come knock this bad boy out right now. Let's have a good look at it. Need to get our numbers up. Structure broken. Quantity and quality. But mostly quantity. Damn. Okay, we got a problem. The island's power grid is down. It's time to earn our key. Hey, yeah, so we switch to emergency protocols and keep our guests safe. Got it? Oh, tell me you got it. Another dead dino. Lambert. Looks like this crisis was man-made. Sabotage? Here's oh! The Any enemies come to mind? Enemies, rivals, profiteers? The list is endless. The Dillo well, killed our Corey. It is. I'll see what I can discover. Lambert out. Don't you even dare. Oh, I got the Corey all right. Get recorded. You're an animal. Asset has been collected. Asset requiring collection. En route to collect the asset. And of course, we can't get any Corys going. That is a shame. Asset being transported. Right now we just gotta wait for this goddamn clock to count down. We did it! We did it! But the bad we thing is we're about to get hit with a big storm. People, corporations, entities. That and we've got a dead dinosaur. Nothing to obtain the knowledge and technology we possess. Look, Who's dead? Not everyone likes me. Some find dead. me cold and human. No. But they don't know what I know. Well, guys, I'm going to brave the storm. Dr. Wu knows, but That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me as always. Shut up, Dr. Malcolm. Me. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. Get on board the God Zero Nation if you haven't already by hitting subscribe. Social media links down below. Hit that notification bell. Wish me luck for this storm. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.